Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial from softwaremedia.com. My name is Kyle, I'm the resident multimedia guru here, and I want to show you guys how to make an animated GIF in Adobe Photoshop CS6. For the purposes of this tutorial, I've already got an image that I created over in Photoshop. It's just a silly little one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. And in order to facilitate the animation process, the three separate pieces that I have that I'm going to animate, mainly his eye, his head, and his jaw, are all separated into different layers so that I can manipulate them independently. Now that's going to make animating way easier. So pro tip, if you're animating, make sure all your different things are on separate layers. Okay, so in order to start our animation, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Window, come on down here to Timeline. This is going to pop up and it's going to show you the different layers that you're working with. And this is kind of laid out like any video editing program, like Premiere, Final Cut, anything like that. It's going to default to about five seconds. I don't want it to run the whole five seconds, so I'm going to click my little workspace here, and I'm just going to drag it down to two seconds. And then when I export, this is all it's going to do. And now it's set to about 30 frames per second, which is standard for video. So every, every second is going to have 30 separate frames. So first I want to animate his eye, make him looking back and forth and around a bit. So I'm going to come down here to the layer for my eyeball. I'm going to expand this and I want to mess with the position attribute. This little stopwatch right here means you're enabling keyframes. When you see an animation, um, the main points of the animation are called keyframes and everything in between those keyframes is called a tween. So I want to set the keyframe and that's going to be telling the program where I want my where I want my image to be at that particular point in time. So I'll give you an example. Right now I just created a keyframe. And so this eyeball is going to be exactly, you know, where it is right now during this keyframe. And then I'm going to move ahead maybe about 15 frames, which is half a second. And I'm going to click this little button here and create another keyframe. And then while I'm on this keyframe, I'm going to move the eye to where I want it to be. And you'll see it's going to create all the tweens in between those two keyframes. If I want it to pause, I'm going to create another keyframe without moving this eyeball. Then I'm going to come over here to about the one and a half second mark. And as soon as I move this layer, because keyframes are enabled, it will create a new keyframe. And now I'm going to go to the end and I'm just going to bring it. Oops. I'm going to go to the end and I'm just going to bring his eye back to the center. And it automatically creates keyframe because I moved it while keyframes are enabled. So now I'm going to hit, come back to the beginning and hit the space bar. And it animates his eyeball. Now I want to move his jaw. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to collapse my eyeball layer. I'm going to expand my jaw layer. Now once again, I'm going to want to enable keyframes. And it's going to create the initial keyframe. I'm going to go to maybe 10 frames, and I'm going to draw, to move his jaw where I want it to go. And it's going to create a new keyframe. And I'm going to go to another frame. I'm going to move the jaw a little, oops, move the jaw back. Do it again, just to kind of make it almost look like it's a, it's a talking motion. Go to my final frame, and I'm going to bring his jaw back up. Now that I've got my animations, uh, my basic animations set, you're going to want to export it. So let me close this out. I'm going to come up here to File, Save for the Web. This is 
zoom this out a little bit. Okay. And then you're going to make sure that you're set to GIF. If you want it tra if you want the background transparent like you would with an emoticon, then you're going to click transparency. Make sure your colors are set to as high as they can go. You're not going to need to worry about interlaced unless you're importing this GIF into an actual interlaced video. Preview monitor color, uh, metadata you don't need to worry about. Make sure your image size is the size you want it. Percent size is going to be 100. And you're going to save. You're going to go to desktop or wherever. And then name it whatever. Purple people eater. Dot gif. Save it. Go to our desktop. Click on that. And we're going to want to open it with whatever browser you've got. So I'm going to use Firefox. You want to watch it again. There you go. It's really, really simple. So play around with it. You know, um, have fun. Create your your own animated gifs with Photoshop. If you want to get really creative, you can go. Uh, you can do much more complex things with it. But this is just the basics. Uh, if you want to get really crazy, get After Effects and play around with 2D animation. You have much more control over your keyframes and moving uh, animated elements. And they even have this really cool puppet tool where you can warp the images. But that'll be a different tutorial. So go forth, create animations, and uh, you know what? If you if you come up with anything cool, post them on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash software media. We always love to see creative stuff from our customers. So thanks for joining us. My name's Kyle, and we'll see you next time.